I've always been interested in medicine. I've always been in roles where I've been caring for people and it just seemed like the next step up really. I always wanted to be a paramedic. It was just a case of preparing myself for it, getting some experience and then applying to universities. When you go on placement, one of the first things that you have to learn is where the equipment's kept. So this is the equipment that we would use if the paramedic needed to manage an airway. Our workplace is everywhere, anywhere. Our office can be a field, it can be the back of a car, it can be in a farm up to your knees in mud, but you don't know where it's going to be until you get there. And that's what makes this job so unpredictable, but fulfilling and enjoying, because you don't know where you're going to be next. Overcoming nerves is tricky. I think in the beginning, as soon as you get in that car, the ambulance and the blue lights and the sirens are going, your heart starts racing. With time, I think you become more confident, you become more experienced and you can almost know what to expect when you get to a job. Are you holding that knee? Have you damaged your knee? Yes. Should we have a look at it? I can't pick the foot up. You can't? No. Did you get up off the floor by yourself? No. Did someone I, come? I got to the phone Yeah. and phoned my neighbour. Oh, did you shuffle over to the phone? Yes. Yeah. Okay. The most rewarding element of placement for me is just developing those communication skills with my patients. Sometimes you get patients with dementia or perhaps mental health problems and they find it really, really hard to communicate. But I really love the part of my job where I can reassure people and just try and find some sort of pathway that you can communicate with them. It doesn't have to be big technical clinical stuff and it's the little things that make a difference and I think that's what students take away from their placements, that they can make a difference just by being themselves.